Hi everyone, uh, this is one of the problems submitted by <coughs> one of the listeners or viewers. Um, so let's go straight to the problem. If eight boys went to the washroom, there would be two thirds as many boys as girls in the class. See, whenever it comes to two thirds as many boys as girls, we always say that take the two is for the boys, two units and three for the girls three units right so the resultant is two-thirds as many boys as girls which means boys are going to be two units and girls are going to be three units Now, the condition is if eight boys went to the washroom, then you will have two units, right? But in, in actual terms, the boys, if you want to find the total number of boys, it will be these two units plus eight of them, right? Now, let's take the other condition. If eight girls went to the bar, uh, washroom, there would be two times as many boys as girls. So now, boys... They're going to be two times as many girls. So this is probably going to be like something like that. One unit for the girls, two unit for the boys. Now, if you want here again in this condition, if you want to consider the total number of girls, we have to include the eight girls that went to the washroom. So that gives the total number of girls right now one thing we will have to really appreciate is that this unit size here it's not the same as this unit size that's why I've I I've driven I have drawn it slightly differently in terms of sizes so we can appreciate that the unit sizes are not the same right so since the unit sizes are not the same but you know that this unit size that you see here is the same as the unit size here right so this is two units of the same size three units of the same size now in order to uh, give a name to them in algebra i would have probably used x and y but in this case i'm just going to use a different name so i will consider this as a units Let's say this is A units and this is B unit. Just like that. I could have just put it as X and Y. I'm just putting it as A units and B units. So we know that the number of boys here and the number of boys here, they are the same. There is the quantity these two quantities meaning this and this they are equal right so how do I represent that in an equation so I'm going to say how many units you have two a units here two a units plus eight boys that should be equal to two b units right now since I've done that when you look at this you know that if 2b units is equal to 2a units plus 8 what do you think will be 1b unit here that would be like dividing everything by 2 so that's going to be 1a unit plus 4 all right so let's try to do that here as well for the girls we know that these two are going to be equal so 3a units here is equal to 1b unit plus 8 now we know that from this here 
we know that one B unit, one B unit here is equal to one A unit plus four. I'm going to just transfer this value of one B unit, substitute that here. So when I do that, it becomes like three A unit is equal to one B unit, which is equal to one A unit plus four, one A unit plus four, which is equal to one B unit plus eight. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to write down top here, three A units is equal to one A unit plus 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. And you can very clearly see that I, if I take one U, U, A unit from both sides, this would become 2 A units equals 12. So which means 1 A unit equals 6. I hope it's clear so far. Now the question is about how many boys and how many girls are there in the class. So we can take either of these conditions here, but since I know the value of A unit, I'm going to take this one because I know that for boys, I have two A units. That is six plus six plus eight. So that is 12 plus eight, which is 20. So I have 20 boys. For girls, I have three A units and I know that each A unit is six. So that gives me three times six, 18 girls. I know it's a bit messy writing around this. I didn't have enough space and my writing was not that good. I'm just still getting used to the stylus thing. So hope this helps. And please do uh, give me feedbacks on whether you like this way of writing better or, you know, you like the PowerPoint method of solving problems much more clearer and easier, whichever it is. Just send in me your feedback. I'm doing this uh, method mainly because it's faster uh, rather than creating so many slides in uh, PowerPoint and making them animate as well. So this would be easier. So but feel free to comment about your feedback and if you have any questions I'll try to answer it as well. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it with your friends and please also Bring me all the questions that you have so I can help you out as much as possible. Thank you. Have a great day.